Go ahead, John. Dad, I know you've been kind of skeptical about this so-called abominable snowman, but these alarm calls from the Everest area are still coming through. Three more people have disappeared in the last two weeks. Don't you think it's time for a little action? I know you're worried about this, John. But as you know, Thunderbirds only answer direct calls for help when there is definite evidence that lives are in danger. Now, these abominable snowman stories have been going around for years. Now, leave it with me, John. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Dad. I'll let you know if I hear any more news. Over and out. Say, Dad, Penny's over in Delhi right now. What say we give her a call and ask her to investigate? Good idea, Scott. This should be just Penny's cup of tea. Well, I must say, Parker, it was a good idea of yours to bring Fab One along. So much more convenient. Yes, Belady. The hair conditioning is working a treat, don't you think? In this heat, it's a jolly good thing that it is. Oh, my compact. Hi, Penny. You may think this kind of strange, but we've been getting reports from the Everest area about this so-called abominable snowman which seems to be terrorizing the local people. Do go on, Jeff. I'm intrigued. I thought maybe you could go up and do a little investigating. But of course, Jeff. I'd adore to go up to the mountains. I missed winter sports this year, and I'd love to see a snowman, abominable or otherwise. Mm -hmm.